Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics, back with another video tutorial for Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how to create a series of surreal torn paper collaging effects that give the appearance of an image being ripped away to reveal a different image underneath. We'll use a variety of fundamental tools and techniques such as layer masks and adjustment layers which makes this tutorial perfect for Photoshop beginners. All the assets you need to follow along are linked in the description. We'll be making use of a series of freely downloadable photos from pexels.com. When it comes to the torn paper effect, it is entirely possible to rip up some paper, scan it in and isolate the ripped edge. But to save some time, I found a great pack of torn paper graphics which provides you with 16 already clipped PNG images to choose from. Plus some bonus mockups and paper pattern textures too. For $15 it beats tearing and scanning your own. Plus you can get up to 50% off if you stock up on other design resources too. Open the portrait photo by Ali Pazani in Adobe Photoshop, along with two torn paper images from the torn paper isolated clip arts and mockups pack. I'm using number 2 and number 7. Go to select and all followed by edit and copy. Close this first torn paper image, then return to the main portrait image. Go to edit and paste to place the torn paper image onto a new layer. Click the document containing the other torn paper graphic and copy and paste this one too. This time incorporate some shortcuts. Use Command or the Control key on Windows and A for Select All. Command and C for Copy. Command and W for Close. Then Command and V for Paste. Use the Command and T shortcut for Transform to begin scaling and repositioning the selected torn paper layer. Adjust its size with the corner handles and move it around by clicking and dragging anywhere within the bounding box. Allow the edges to extend beyond the edge of the canvas. Hit enter to apply the transformation. If you have auto select enabled for the move tool, you can click an object to automatically select the layer, otherwise activate the layer in the layers panel to begin working with it. Use the command and T shortcut to scale and position this graphic. I rotated this one by hovering near the corner handle to find the rotate icon. Click the background layer to activate it, then click the add adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Choose black and white. We'll use the default settings, so collapse the properties panel. Adjustment layers automatically have a layer mask applied, which allows you to specify which areas of the image the effect is applied to. Choose the polygonal lasso tool from the toolbar under the lasso tool group. Zoom in with the command and plus shortcut, then hold spacebar to pan around to focus on the torn paper. Begin clicking to roughly trace a line within the torn paper images starting off the canvas, then looping right back to the start. Carefully navigate past the thinner areas so it stays within the torn edge. Zoom back out with the Command and Zero shortcut to fit the image to the screen. This selection can be filled within the layer mask to tell it not to apply the adjustment layer to this area. Use the Alt and Backspace shortcut to fill the selection with the foreground colour, which is black by default. Go to select and deselect to remove the selection to see the adjustment layer is now affecting all the image except the area within the torn paper edges. Within layer masks, black conceals and white reveals. Making sure the mask is still selected, use the command and I shortcut for invert to flip it the other way around. Now the area within the torn paper edges is white within the mask, which means the black and white effect is revealed in this area instead. Let's try another effect. Open up the lion image by Callum Hilton. Select all with command and A, then copy with command and C. Back in the main document, click the background layer, then use command and V to paste the lion layer above it. Hold the command key or control key on windows and click the adjustment layers mask to load its selection instead of drawing it again. Click the layer mask icon at the bottom of the layers panel to apply this selection as a layer mask to this lion layer. Click the chain icon to unlink the mask from the layer so you can move the image around independently. Make sure you click the layer thumbnail to activate the image portion of the layer, not the mask. Press Command and T to move the lion face into place. First right click and choose flip horizontal, then scale and rotate the image to the appropriate size. To help line up the eyes exactly, reduce the opacity of the layer so you can see the original portrait. This lion image just happens to match the portrait pretty well. Hit enter and bring the opacity back to 100%. The portrait 
portrait image is quite a lot clearer than the lion image, so I had a quick sharpen filter to bring out the details. There's a gap where the lion layer is cropped before it reaches the edge of the canvas. Draw a rough selection with the polygonal lasso tool, then go to edit and fill. Choose content aware, We should quickly fill the space with a matching background. The black and white adjustment layer is also affecting the lion layer because it's underneath it in the layer stack. Turn off its visibility by clicking the little eyeball icon next to its layer. Add a levels adjustment layer. Just like the black and white adjustment layer, this levels layer would affect the lion layer and the background because they're underneath it, but you can tell it to only affect the layer directly below it by clicking the clip to layer icon. Move the shadows and highlights sliders within the levels properties to boost the contrast of the lion layer. You can bring back the visibility of the black and white layer to test out how it looks with the black and white effect applied to the portrait or the lion layer by inverting the mask. This kind of collage art originates from people cutting and pasting magazine images with prehistoric tools such as scissors and glue, often with weird picture combinations. You can combine any images to achieve a surreal result. Open the blue water image by innermost limits, then select all and copy. Paste this layer above the levels adjustment layer to avoid breaking the link between it and the lion layer it's been applied to. Use the commanded T shortcut to scale, rotate and position this graphic to cover the torn paper area. Command and click one of the existing layer masks to load the torn paper selection, then add a layer mask to apply it to this layer too. Turn on the visibility of the black and white adjustment layer and invert it to test out different variations of this effect. As a finishing touch double click one of the torn paper image layers to add a layer style. Choose drop shadow. Set the opacity to 100% while configuring the values, then set the angle to 90 degrees. Move the distance slider so the shadow extends beyond the upper torn edge by around 20 pixels. Blur the shadow with the size slider by around 30 pixels. Set the blend mode to overlay, then reduce the opacity to around 50% to leave a subtle shading effect. Double click the other torn paper layer and add the same drop shadow effect. This time deselect use global light to choose a unique angle. Set it to minus 90 so the shadow flows upwards into the torn away area. The final result is a surreal image reveal collage effect. By configuring the different layers, we've created several variants that combine different images with and without a black and white effect. Which one is your favourite? If you enjoyed this tutorial or learned any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.